I can tell you that we've experienced at times in the last couple months up to an hour, up to two hours for emergency calls. Longer ambulance wait times and staffing shortages are among the problems that first responders are seeing exacerbated during a time when they're already shouldering multiple health crises in the province. It's been worse on weekends, obviously, um, that we've been reported. You've seen the numbers up to 30, in some scenarios, up to 30 ambulances parked across the lower mainland region. So that means one quarter of the ambulances on a regular basis are reported as not staffed. We know in critical calls, um, such as uh, CPR, where somebody's had a cardiac arrest, every minute counts towards the, their viability to re resuscitate somebody. In critical interventions, it could come down to life and death uh, interventions that are not uh, met. David Leary with the Ambulance Paramedics of BC describes the problem as a three-pronged crisis. One is the opiate crisis that's been going on since 2016, and uh, which has a, 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 a large effect on the call volume for our crews and uh, myself and the other paramedics in the street, along with uh, in, in the increase in calls comes increase in physical and, and mental health injuries. Um, and, and then along with that is uh, the current pandemic that we're facing with uh, COVID-19. You know, that relates to uh, you know, more time off due to mental health and, and physical injuries. Right, and with that extra time off, which is required because of the additional stresses that we're seeing in this uh, triple threat sort of a scenario, um, that means just fewer staff, right? It just exacerbates an ongoing problem. That's what I'm hearing. Exactly. People aren't just coming into this profession because they're, we're not able to recruit them because of the, the low pay wages and that. And then the other issue is uh, around recruiting and transferring into the Lower Mainland into a full-time paramedic position. With those wages and those uh, unsustainable model, that's one of our, that's our, probably our biggest problem recruiting into the profession. BC EHS and, and Provincial Health Services Authority are responsible for, for providing emergency health services to the citizens of BC. So every person is, they're accountable to every person in this province. In a statement, the BC Emergency Health Services says, in part, they've worked with the Paramedics and Dispatchers Association of BC to create 214 permanent full-time positions since the fall of 2020. They've created a new scheduled on-call shift that allows paramedics to be paid full wages, and more than 150 positions have been created to gradually end the practice of FOX shifts, where paramedics have to be on standby. The hope is this model improves emergency coverage and a stable paramedic workforce. We don't want to deter anybody from calling for an ambulance in their time of need. That's the last thing we'd want to see is somebody not calling an ambulance when they need an ambulance. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.